Um, so uh, people can, be as before, pop all their questions into the chat. Hi, guys. As you start joining us, do pop your little message into the session chat so we know that you are there because we can't actually see who is who's joined us. Um, I feel very serious with this headset. <laughs> Um, and uh, Joe will um, answer any questions. Oh, by the way, are you pref uh, do you prefer to be called Joe or Juliana or? Oh, well, I prefer Juliana, but I like Juliana. Juliana. Has, has no, Joe, then, so. then you are called Juliana. That's all good. So Juliana will uh, then um, reply to uh, either in real time or will jump on at the end as well to answer any more questions. And um, yeah, for captions, the uh, YouTube link is also shared, but it'll also play in here. And Juliana and I will just turn off our mics and our cameras, and then we'll just watch the, I think it's 35 minutes, the talk, and then sort of all reconvene. Brilliant. So yeah, we've got eight yes. people, I think. Great. I just want to say a big thank you to you for telling me about this event. You're um, welcome. You're we're part of the Women in Tech SEO um, community. And I wanted to also say a big thank you also to Tech Exeter for having me on today and that you are doing captioning. Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but um, that does take quite a lot of work, as well as putting on an event, and they all do in their free time. Yeah. So thank you very much to all of you for oh, thank you so uh, putting much. this event on. Oh, that's really kind. I'm really looking forward to this talk. So I'll be busy finding all the questions. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. I'm Juliana Turnbull, also known as SEO Joe Blogs. And today I'm going to be talking to you all about how to build great relationships online. So without further ado, uh, I will begin the talk. Uh, please leave your questions and we'll be answering them afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, as I said, you know, for putting on this event and also for, um, yeah, for having me on the show today. It's been No it's worries. Been really so you've already been busy answering all the questions. Um, does anybody have any more questions? That was a lot of information, but I did think, uh, thank you so much for talking us through those things. And I think a lot of the things are about actually the respect you have for yourself as well and recognizing that you are an entity with a limited amount of energy and creativity and actually you're deeply deserving of that recognition and um i'm sorry that you had to go through like tough things and tough situations but really thankful for you to jo like to join us here today and um share those insights i think that's really worthwhile and thank you so much for being vulnerable as well Yeah, thank you very much, Sarah. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, just in, in terms of like relationships, um, it's, I think a lot of people think of it as, you know, a partner relationship, like boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, and I think um, it's a two way, it's a two way street. Uh, but many people don't realize that also applies to work. And it also applies to, it also applies to your parents as well. You know, uh, when you're a child, you get a lot of give from your parents, but oh, I've seen a lot of grown up children not do the same to their parents. Not, um, they just are still in the child mentality. So yeah, just working with a lot of people, um, I understand that people have different differences, which is fine, totally great. Uh, but I think uh, as we were having the chat, you know, if you are not good at a certain skill, it's totally okay, you know, just to say, look, I'm not good at this. It's the same thing when someone says, I'm not good at Excel. Or I'm not good at um, reading. I, I don't read a lot. I'm okay at reading, but I just don't enjoy it. So I say I don't enjoy reading. So what I do is I uh, I find out about history by watching Netflix documentaries. <laughs> Brilliant. So there's different ways, but I, I think the point is that you recognize what you're good or not good at. And I do really uh, recommend um, having a mentor. It was mentioned earlier on at Tech Exeter that the mentorship program Actually, it was by Liz was talking about that, that her company organized it and they saw a lot of positive results from it. And I really recommend, um, I really recommend as well the thing called the other things sorry, the program called the Clifton Strengths Finder. It's actually a test that you do um, and it recognizes natural ability and it puts into 34 different, let's say, 
boxes, mm. um, which when you work on those, they be well, 34 strengths, when you work on them, they become your talents, the top five. So uh, that's very important. And it does very much link to this EQ AI, because mm. what I found when I was doing it for some of the, the areas that I shared, like learner, uh, maximizer, relationship, it ties in that in some areas I can have, I do have empathy with people. So it's slightly easier for me to build relationships with people than maybe someone that doesn't have it. But it's important to recognize and put your hand up and say, look, I'm not good at this. Can you give me some time? Mm. I'm going to work on it. Absolutely. I will have to run over to the next talk to set that up for Diana Richardson. But you guys can all stay, um, talk to Juliana. She'll be here answering questions. And I just see that Neil Park has popped another one on. So have a fabulous afternoon, everybody. And I will see you around soon. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Neil. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. So, Neil, you said in your experience, uh, do you think it's a common problem that entrepreneurs have a tendency to be project focused and not people focused? Uh, I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and um, it, I don't like to use that word. It depends, but it does depend on that person. I do think that it's not really an entrepreneur thing, that people are project focused, not people. Um, I think the difference with an entrepreneur situation is that you can see uh, the entrepreneur, or you can see that CEO, you have access to him or her much more easily than perhaps if you're in a big company. Um, and I think that even in big companies, you don't always have the right skills um, to expand upon. It really just does depend on the company. I think each company needs to make it uh, important that there is soft skills training in the company. It's not just about hard skills. And thank you, Paul, and thank you, Lisa Fay, for your comments. And thank you, Natalie and Philip, for joining, and anyone else that um, uh, that hasn't signed, uh, hasn't written in the chat yet. So I just wanted to say for this, this is, I'm not a psychologist or a um, therapist or anything. This is just from my personal experience. Um, I had exposure to meeting a lot of people because when I was younger, we did move around a lot. Uh, I'm British, but I just don't sound it. And I've moved like uh, to houses 25 times now. So I have a lot of experience of meeting different people, um, probably uh, not, probably more than, um, other people at my at the age that I was when I moved around but as I said what I think is important is that you know we're all different I think that we need to be tolerant towards one another especially more now and I think that there if there is something that you want to work on um, then you have you have the opportunity if we cannot work on ourselves now uh, with all this pandemic and everything when can we so uh, Look forward to connecting with some of you. Some of you I have connected with. I'm Jay Turnbull on uh, LinkedIn or SEO Joe Blogs on Twitter. Stay a couple um, more minutes. If anyone has any questions, um, pop them in the chat. Otherwise, I will uh, join for Diana's sessions. Uh, she, she has actually quite a lot to, to speak about as well. Thank you everyone for joining and I hope to see you in a uh, Diana session or another person's session uh, right after this. See you later. Bye.